Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to read a devotional for my new book, Dominate or Be Dominated. You can get a copy of this book. We'll show you how you can do that at the end of this devotional. But I want you to discover how you can have spiritual control over the circumstances and conditions in your life. As the photo of this book suggests, you can either be a lion cub all your life or you can become king of the forest. By faith, you can live in the best of what God has for you. And you can also see other people turn to the Lord as you spiritually dominate by faith. So today in this series of devotionals, the first one I'm going to read is called What Happens When You Get Aggressive With Your Faith. Reading from the book now. God wants you to be aggressive in your faith because that's the way you retrieve what is yours. Aggressive means to be insistent. You refuse to allow fear or intimidation to cause you to back away in your believing in your prayers. You're going after what's yours and you're retrieving it. You have to make a decision you're going to do it. It has to be something that's determined within you because there will be plenty of opportunity to be scared off or decide it isn't worth it. So this has to be a firm decision that you're going to be aggressive with your faith to repossess what's yours. Go after it. I'm going to show you a good picture of how you can go after what the adversary, the devil, has tried to take over in your life. There was a couple who placed a bird feeder outside their house. One day when they came home from a trip, they went out to see the bird feeder and saw that it had been taken over by a large black snake. It was a terrible sight. You can just imagine this big black snake wrapped around that bird feeder and acting as if it owned it. That's what you can be viewing right now in your life, a terrible sight of something the devil has taken over which belongs to you. The devil's always taking what doesn't belong to him. He knows if he can intimidate us enough, we'll back away and just allow him to have it. Though, so the wife decided they were going to get aggressive and get their bird feeder back. So she said to her husband, well, we're going to have to do something about this. And the husband very bravely said back, yes, you are going to have to do something about this. But she was determined and she knew it would take both of them. So she talked him into working with her and giving some careful thought to what they could do. You know, you can't mess around with something evil and poisonous in your life. Allow God to give you a plan of action to know what to do. So after considering their options, this couple got two long brooms and went on each side of the bird feeder. Then they began to poke and prod at the snake. And after some time, it became dislodged and dropped out of the bird feeder and crawled away. They could have stood there and watched that snake take hold of what belonged to them and stay there. It would have made its home there and they would forfeit what was theirs and would have something very undesirable hanging around them. Don't allow what's undesirable to hang around your life. It will try to dominate. Don't forfeit the peace and possessions and happiness that belong to you. God wants to see you blessed and growing in Him and reaching a new level of what He has for you. But if the old snake is hanging around and taking over, it's going to be impossible. So you have to be as that couple was, aggressive. Get aggressive with your faith and start poking and prodding against the bad that's trying to take over. Don't forfeit. Do you know how to poke and prod with your faith? You get out the Word of God and you poke at those circumstances. You remind the devil that Jesus Christ conquered him and you are now a conqueror. You have been given authority and power to trample upon serpents and physical and mental strength and ability over all the power that the enemy over all the power the enemy possesses and nothing shall in any way harm you that's Luke chapter 10 see your faith is with the one who put the devil in his place and everything he can do against you so you just keep poking him with the truth of the word then you get out the promises of God made to you you get out these promises and you begin to prod the enemy with them. God has established me for blessing and wholeness and achievement and well-being. That's what you're saying. You keep poking at him with the word and you prod him with the promises of God. He's not going to take over and wrap himself around what is yours, just as he did that bird feeder. Your faith is going to push him out of there. You will dislodge him. You're going after it with aggressive faith. You're retrieving what belongs to you. As I mentioned earlier, we have to realize something about our faith. 
The Bible never describes our faith as being nice and sweet. You won't find that description in the scriptures. But what I find in the Word is that faith is aggressive. That's when you get to see the work of God done in your life and see miracles. So here's a description of your faith according to God's Word. It says in Matthew 17 that you are able to remove a mountain when you speak the Word. Hebrews describes how you can use your faith to see people healed, raise the dead, inherit the promises. Ephesians 6 says your faith is a saving faith that quenches the flaming missiles of the wicked one. And 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 says your faith energizes your ability to work. And chapter 5 says it gives you the ability to be happy. 1 Timothy 6 describes you as being in the fight of faith. And Hebrews 10 says holy passion and commitment can be born from your faith. 2 Peter chapter 1 promises that you can develop virtue in your life by it. And 1 Peter 5 says you'll be able to withstand the devil by your faith. Now you tell me if that doesn't describe aggressive faith. When you decide you're going to be forceful and intense and determined with your faith, you can have all of that. Those promises are there for you. So, are you going to allow the enemy to steal from you or retrieve what belongs to you? You do have the ability to have that kind of faith. God has given it to you. Use it. So, I encourage you, that's just one small portion of the power that's in this book to help you live the kind of life that you want to live with aggressive faith and spiritually dominate what the devil would try to do in your life. And you know, we really need to help the people in this world who need to know God. We know evil spirit forces are at work in this world and we have got to spiritually dominate for God. So be sure to get a copy of this book. All the information is on the screen. And also I invite you to let me pray for you. Whenever you share with me from your personal life, I take it very seriously. I lay my hands on it. I pray over everything you share and we call it out to God, John and I do. So I can't wait to hear from you and be sure you get your copy of this book, Dominate or Be Dominated. God bless you.